Hello guys, so welcome back. Today was a 37 below degree day and it was frigid. So I had all these beautiful plants and I thought I would create a living wall. So this living wall was inspired by my dear friend. Um, she has a YouTube channel called Dig Plant Water Repeat. Her name is Janie. Look how gorgeous she is. So she has the most beautiful living wall in her bedroom I've ever seen. It is absolutely gorgeous and it inspired me so much to make my own. So I have this heart leaf philodendron that I actually got from Target. So Target had some great plants and I'll leave the video linked down below that I did. But I actually got a few plants from Target. Um, this one here and then also this golden pothos which is gorgeous and that's going somewhere else and then I have this lemon lime philodendron now it's seen better days I got it from a plant arena and the box actually froze my fault shouldn't have ordered it in the middle of winter so plants suffered I actually lost three of the plants that I ordered and this one is coming back it has some new growth but still struggling a little bit and then I got this Philodendron Brazil. Now this one is my favorite that I am putting up out of all of them. And I just love how the light green matches and then the darker green of the outer leaves match. And I think they just go together so well. So I'm actually going to be potting them up into these pots. I actually got these pots from my Christmas poinsettias. Now I know you should wash out new pots, um, but not gonna lie, I did not do that. So don't come after me for that. I know you should wash them, I just didn't. So I'm just using plain potting mix, which is what Janie uses when she pots up her um, her house plants or like pothos and philodendrons. So that's what I'm using. I know you can get indoor mix, but I'm just using potting mix and we'll see how it works. So I was gonna pot up this first lemon lime philodendron and I realized that I could actually just slip the brown pot right inside the black pot and then slip that right inside the white cover pot. Um, I did go back later and actually pot it up but spur of the moment I was like, oh, I'll save some dirt. <laughs> but I did go back later and potted up correctly. So here I am just potting up the Brazil and oh, look how gorgeous that is. I actually got that one from Plantarina as well, um, but it was in the middle of the box so that one didn't freeze as bad as the other ones. And then next is this heart leaf and look how cute that terracotta pot is. I wish so bad I could have kept it in this pot but it just didn't work for how I'm going to be mounting it on the wall and then I also needed some light plastic pots because I didn't have a stud that I will be drilling into so I thought light plastic ones would be better than heavy ceramic or terracotta pots so oh but that was such a cute pot here I am just potting it up and then I have my little man join me he woke up from his nap, so he's such a good helper, <laughs> just helping me. And here I am repotting up that first lemon line at Philodendrian because I thought, you know, I just thought it would be better just to pot it up now. And then once these are all potted up, I just gave them a nice drink of water to kind of settle the soil. And oh, that sight right there just makes me so excited. Here I am in the bathroom. There is just a random door right there. I'm remodeling the house and um, I'm going to be painting that door, but it's just chilling out in the meantime. So I started by measuring the length of the wall and then finding the middle. And I contacted Janie and she said she spaced her plants nine and a half inches apart. So that is exactly what I'm doing. And then I'm just kind of unpacking these pot rings that I received off of Amazon. They're six inches apart and they came with their own screws and then those plastic thingies <laughs> for extra support if you don't have studs, which I didn't have studs where I'm drilling them. Um, so I use those. So I'm just hanging the rings up kind of to tell or see how high I want them. And then once I have kind of a rough estimate, I'm actually using the changing table um, 
as a guide so I can get it straight across. And I will be moving this changing table for my baby um, to his own room here shortly, just with the remodel, everything's in weird spots right now. So I just hold up the ring where I made the marks and I'm just kind of marking where I will be putting the screws. All three spots I marked and then I don't have a stud where I'm drilling so I'm just drilling a pilot hole. I think that's what it's called. You guys, I, I may not know the correct terms but I am remodeling my house by myself so I know a little bit um, and I should have found a hammer but I'm just using my drill to pound in those little plastic pieces um, and that will just help keep it more sturdy since I don't have a stud. And then I am just screwing in the plant rings. I will link these rings down below. I know I think you could get them in either six inch or eight inch and I chose the six inch. And then it is time to add the pots. So I'm so excited. So I am new with this houseplant journey and um, I don't know a whole lot, but I do know that these will grow quickly. So they look gorgeous. Please follow along. I will be doing updates on how they are doing there, but this is in my bathroom right across from a window. So it should get nice light and humidity from, you know, just the showers and stuff. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Check out Janie. I will see you next time and I hope you have a great day. Bye.